Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome to my multiplayer server tour. Um, for those of you who don't know what this is, this is a open multiplayer server I play on uh, pretty much five days a week. Uh, and what we do is, it's every time I stream, and at the end of the stream, we get on the multiplayer server, and we open it up to any the first like 14 people on the stream can get in. Server can hold 15 people. I'm the only one in here at the moment for the server tour. Uh, we're actually going to... We're actually going to restart the world, but this is a really cool world, so I wanted to give a server tour. But anyway, on my streams, uh, we we just, you know, I get in the game, and then we open up the server. We give the IP info in the chat, and the first 14 people who get in, come in. Unless Pam's with me, then it'll be 13 people. Bottom line is the server holds 15 people, and we do open it up for streams. For those of you who want to come to one of my streams, I stream Tuesday, Wednesday um, from, from 3 p.m p.m. Eastern to 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I stream Friday from roughly 6 p.m. Eastern to around midnight, depending. Sometimes I start later, but those are the rough estimates. Uh, Saturdays, I usually do between 5 and 6 p.m. Eastern to around midnight. Sunday, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern to 5 p.m. Eastern. And Monday and, thir Monday and Thursday, I'm off. So uh, if you ever want to come on one of the servers, you know, feel free. But we're going to go ahead and give a server tour. And this is my... By the way... I didn't find the auger. Uh, we have in, on this in this server we have uh, we have altered like um, recipe list so you can actually craft the auger and then many other things the auger and the chainsaw those are the two I'm really interested in but uh, yeah so anyway uh, this is my bedroom right here uh, I got some couches some you know a bunch of stuff here I got my bed uh, underneath the bed I have. This is something Pam showed me. We put our, underneath our beds, we put our sleeping bags. So when you spawn, you just pop up on your bed. You kind of like spawn on your bed. I don't care about breaking up the, the house because like I said, we're going to be starting a new world today anyway. So yeah, that's my bed. Uh, you know what? I can't leave it like that. <laughs> let's, uh, let's put that back. There we go. All right. So we got some nice uh, brick paver uh, on the walls. On the ceiling, we have... Give what it's called. It's uh, I think it's in here. What's this stuff called? Yeah, Adobe. We, I have Adobe stuff on the ceiling, uh, and on the floor is just redwood. Got a nice iron door here that goes into my crafting area. Uh, this is my forge area. You know how I don't like to put forges and stuff on on wood, so I have no wood connected to any of the forges. Not even close to the forges or the campfires. Uh, I did do some of the uh, the reinforced concrete here because it's pretty sweet. Uh, I got a gun safe here for my weapons, and then I just have a bunch of crates here. Uh, you know, for I pretty kind of organized everything. Not great, but I did organize some stuff. And this is just a drop off chest stuff I didn't organize yet, or stuff I'm working with, or you know. Stuff I just want to throw in here because I didn't, I didn't feel like organizing it. All right, now we're going to come out here into the hallway where a bunch of people live. And I'm going to show you the end of the hallway first, which comes up here. Uh, I opened this up because I wanted zombies to come down and attack us. Uh, but the zombies on this server kind of got fooled the way we built our place. I'll explain it to you later. But just remember, I opened this up because I wanted zombies to come down and attack us. They never did. All right, so we're going to go into DM mode. And I'm going to have to go into DM mode to show you people's built houses. Now, I don't know who built where. I'm just going to show you people's stuff, and uh, that's that. All right. Yeah, a bunch of, like, people didn't really get too, mu too much in there. Uh, what do we got here? I think this is Lord Terror's hovel. And this is just, you know, basic room. I know across from me is Pam. Now, get ready for one of the best, uh, like, builds I've ever seen. Get ready. Ready? Check this out. This is Pam's house. Look at this. She's got the TV on the wall. She's got a nice little, uh, nice little uh, kitchen area, bedroom. All right, over here she's got the bathroom. Okay. She still needs a uh, magazine rack or something here, you know, like for the bathroom, but. Now, a lot of these things you can't craft. She has, like, special recipes, so she did... Actually, I can't see anything she didn't craft. That's kind of weird. Um, she didn't craft anything. Oh, you can't craft the toilet. So that's one thing she crafted. What's in here? I, I didn't even see this. Oh, I didn't even see this. I guess she has... I'm not sure if this is a room of hers or someone that lives next to her. 
Okay, I didn't know if you could hear that humming, but someone was calling me on my phone, and I just figured I'd pause the video. But I don't know who lives in here. I don't know. I don't know why she has a door here to somebody else's house. So, uh, let's continue along. So we don't have to go in that door. We know where that goes. And this comes right outside. And you can see right here, we built into the side of a mountain. Now, here's the thing. We built into the side of a mountain, and the hordes always spawn on top. So, basically, what was happening is the hordes were spawning at night, and they wouldn't attack and, like, kill themselves on their, on their spikes, on our spikes. Or, like, we wouldn't have to fight them off. They would just stand up here and cause major lag and scream all night. It was so annoying. So, we will not be building into the side of a mountain uh, on the next server, for sure. Uh, we got someone's house right here. I think this dude got banned. Uh, I'm not really sure whose house that is. Actually, I don't know whose house anybody's is, so whatever. Uh, right here was a farm we were starting. I kind of just stopped doing this. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have, a, like, a really gigantic farm. Uh, the funny thing about multiplayer is multiplayer is easier in a lot of ways, but it's also harder in some ways because it's hard to feed everybody, you know? You really got to have some farms going, like this dude right here. This is a nice house. Now, this house was getting attacked during some of the hordes. Uh, a couple hordes came from this side. And this house was under siege, but it was never in any jeopardy. Alright, so let's look around. Okay, that's a basic house. Oh, what's this? I never saw this house before. Oh, because it's not a house. It's just a hole in the ground. Right here, we got um, a little staircase leading up to the top of the mountain. Over here, this is... Cats house cat cat lit cat land or something i forget it i forget his total name and he is a dude even though whenever i think of cat i think of a chick but this brick looks phenomenal i love the look of this brick so you can see right here he's gotten here and he's got a long tunnel all the way down you can see and he uh stopped there okay right now i'm just in D uh, dm mode you know just so i can get around easier Oh, what's down here? I didn't even see this. Where did this come from? Ooh, whose house is this? Oh! Oh, I must... Oh, this was... Okay, this is the one off Pam's. Okay, yeah, so this comes... Oh, okay, all the way over here. Okay. Fair enough. I don't know if there's anything else over here. I don't think there is. So I'm just going to show you a couple more houses. This is just like a, a basic house. Guy left his door open. I guess he left the server or something. Uh, over here we have a nice little red house with a window and everything. Nice little red house. I don't know why people keep putting down land claim blocks. I'm just going to make it known. Land claim blocks do not do anything on a PvE server. Land claim blocks do... N I'm going to say this as clearly as I can. Land claim blocks do not affect zombies. They only affect other players. This is a PvE server. Your land block claim is completely 100% useless. Please do not place it. All it's going to do is make it harder for people to dig up anything in the area. Basically what land claim blocks is they put more durability on the blocks when another player is trying to break up the block. So all you're doing is making it harder for people in the area to break up their blocks. Alright, got another house right here. Oh, this one was in the process of being built. Coming down here, doing some mining. There was a lot of ore on this server. <laughs> a lot of ore. There's another person's... Oh, jeez, look at this. Oh, look at this. Wow, oh, this guy was safe. <laughs> this guy was safe as hell. Okay, I think that's it in the area that I'm... Oh, I didn't even see this. I never even saw this. Interesting. I think that's it for most of the stuff in the area. I we do have some people who lived outside of this area, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pause the video right now and go find their houses. Okay, we're coming up a house right here. I think this is T.R. Merck's house, and uh, you can see right here he's got massive spikes around the whole thing. Um, he's got metal in there. I mean, this thing's pretty much in impenetrable at this point. Let's uh, let's go see what he's built inside. All right, not much down here. Oh, he's got a wall, door, uh, nothing in there, just boarded up the windows, got another door. He's got multiple layers of defense, this place is really safe. Um, although crawlers can get in there, or not crawlers, I'm sorry, uh, spider zombies can get in there. I like to call them screamers now, 
I don't call them spider zombie mo zombies anymore. I call them screamers because uh, it sounds like a cooler name. Yes. So that's TR Merc's house. Then we got over here. This is Chris's house. Um, he didn't do too much with it. I kind of, I kind of like just mess around with him, tell him he didn't do anything with it. But he's got extra doors up. Now he's got some boarded windows. This looks much better than when I, when I saw it yesterday. He's got a hatch right here, and he was uh, building everything up here. All right, the next house is over here, and I will be—I'll come back when I'm there. Okay, so here we are at another house. Got a nice little farm out here. Tons of iron in the wall. It looked like uh, he put spikes on his roof. I guess zombies were jumping on his roof. So let's see what he's got inside. All right, a couple of chests, a couple of forges set up pretty nice. And it looks like he just started digging down and down and down. Over here, okay. Yeah, it looked pretty good. The nice part is that the far the farther you dig down, the uh, the safer you feel, and the safer you are. I'm just looking for anything else underground. Okay, I do have one more house to show off. Uh, it's in the hub city, and uh, I'm not gonna bother pausing the video here. Uh, actually, I'm not sure exactly where it is. Yeah, let me pause the video so I can actually find it. So I'll see you when I find it. Okay, this guy's got a house right across from Shotgun Messiah. Where's that hornet? Let's take care of that hornet so we don't have to worry about him later. Okay. So he dug, he dug a moat around his entire base. Didn't put any spikes or anything. But um, I love this build. And I think I might see a build for Season 11. Possibly. Um, yeah, I'm kind of liking this build. He's basically rebuilding this, this building. Uh, which seems really really cool. So let's come on and see what he's got here All right, I'm trying to look for his door. I will I'll, I'll glitch through the or cheat through the doors But yeah, I mean this is pretty cool. He's just like rebuilt this entire building and um, I kind of like it I think uh, if I can play in the hub city with a decent frame rate um, At least I don't know it doesn't have to be in the main part of the hub city it could be like kind of like on the outskirts But if I can play in the hub city with a decent you know, frame rate. I might actually do the same thing. This is a really, sorry. This is a really, really cool build. I kind of like the idea of restoring this building. So let's come on up here. All right, he's got a door there. I guess the doors to keep the spider zombies out. Yeah, this is this is cool. Kind of wish I did this in season ten, to be honest. Although my season ten build is pretty awesome. All right, what does he got here? Okay, so he built the big wall here to keep everything out. Again, use the land claim box, guys. Don't bother; they don't do anything. Um, yeah, this is a this is so cool. I like this house. And on the roof, he was gonna make some. Uh, on the roof, he was gonna make some uh, some farms. So that's a pretty sweet that's a pretty sweet gig right there. All right, and that is the last house for me to show you. Where you go, we are going to be restarting the server tonight uh, when I stream on Saturday. And uh, don't forget, guys, if you ever want to join the server, come to the stream. Uh, I usually do the multiplayer server stuff at the like second part of the stream. I usually start with the, with some game, you know, random game, whatever. The other day it was uh, Craft the World. And then I'll switch over to Seven Days to Die and we'll do the multiplayer stream for the rest of the night. And uh, it's an open multiplayer server and it doesn't really fill up that much. So... Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, version of 7 Days to Die Multiplayer Server Cribs Tour. Hey, that's what I'll call it. And uh, see you next time.